Thanks again for joining me for today's episode of Edible Eric Eats. Today's episode, we're making herb mashed potatoes. The recipe you guys have in the class folder. Only one difference, I'm changing the method of cooking to sous vide. Um, sous vide is really nice, really helpful when you're making purees in that cooks the vegetables, but does not um, allow them to be touched by water. We don't want to do that because uh, water dilutes and it will take out some of the flavors. This way, we'll get a fresher, um, more vibrant potato flavor. I have two pounds of potatoes that were cut up from, that were left over from a demo video. So I'm just gonna utilize them. Uh, your recipe says to uh, peel and quarter, uh, so go ahead and do that. I'm gonna add them to a vacuum seal bag. With, you wanna make sure you roll over your bag so you don't get any stuff here where you're gonna seal it. I'm just gonna put these in here now. We will undo the roll, or undo the, the bag, and then you want to put it in your vacuum sealer. Kind of make sure it's one, as, as you want to make sure it's a nice single even layer as much as possible. Make sure there's overhang on your heating element, and then just close. Okay. We have our vacuum sealed potatoes. We're gonna drop these right into boiling water. When it comes to sous vide vegetables, you wanna take into consideration the end product with them. These are going to be mashed up, so it doesn't matter how violently we cook them. We're not worried about um, you know, softening them up too much. Another reason why I love using the sous vide method is you can do this ahead of time. Sous vide will stop the oxi oxidization of, from occurring because you've removed all the oxygen. Now I'm gonna throw in the boiling water and just let that go until they're done. So we're checking our potatoes. You can see they're boiling. You do have some expansion in the bag because of the heat that will collapse when you refill it. So I'm just gonna set it down and, and um, press on them and they are mashable. You can see, now these are good, these are done. Now, if we weren't gonna finish this up right away, you would take this, throw it in an ice bath and let it cool down completely and it would be ready, vacuum sealed, uh, cooked, ready to go for whenever you needed mashed potatoes on the fly. To finish up the mashed potatoes, we're gonna open them up. And then we're gonna treat these like we would regular potatoes. We're gonna put them, pass them through the food mill. You can see how they're less waterlogged and you can see like the kind of starchiness to them, which is, you want in, which is what you want in a good mashed potato. So now we're gonna pass all this through, scrape it down the sides so we can make sure we get all of it. cream and butter that we've scalded. You want to make sure you scrape down the sides a little bit. And then last, we're going to add in our tablespoon of chopped up assorted herbs. mashed potato there you go guys the school's recipe for herb mashed potatoes just done with a little slight twist on how we cook it enjoy guys and uh keep on eating looking to up your cooking skills click subscribe for more delicious content where i break down techniques uh, dish out succulent tips to help you not just keep on eating but encourage you to grow on